What's going on everyone? Today we are unboxing and reviewing the SEMA CM506 or the SEMA M4A1 RIS CQB. Without further ado, let's get started. So this is oh, so good. How am I gonna cut this anyway? Let's start over here. Anyway, I don't understand how. Oh wait, finally made it. All right, so. I also ordered, excuse me, a SEMA 155mm suppressor, I think this is aluminium and it has, uh, yes it has foam inside as you can barely see from here, from this edge, it looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie, and I've also bought an MFT stock. I'm gonna link all of these things in the description down below. Let me focus on it just to see it better. All right. Where's my knife? Now, let's continue the opening. Sake, what the freak, man? We're treated with this amazingly plain cardboard box. The only information that there is here is this SEMA 506 tan version or the black version. Let me open this up now. Alright, this is really nice. Let's put this here. First things first. We are greeted with this manual. It is, I think it's general for all the M4 and AKs. And this is my warranty. So I'm gonna save it. Let me get my knife back. Got some. I don't know how this is called. But it is fast. Let's pull this apart. So I expect it to be a lot smaller. This is really nice. I don't know what to put this on there. Oh man. Oh. Oof, finally. I get it opened. So, first things first. We have polymer high capacity magazine. I think it's uh, 330 rounds one. In done, it's not bad, it's pretty good. Then we get charger. A battery. E, what the freak is this, man? This is supposed to be a sling, but I 100% don't recommend you to use it because Another one as well, it's broken anyway. Because this is it's trash. Trust me. Then oh, we also get a sample of BBs. Which I'm not sure about using them. Hmm. Maybe we'll see. Get this bad boy out. Okay. Alright, so this is pretty heavy. I did not expect this at all, man. This is pretty good. Oh, this feels great. Alright. So, let me get this cleaned over here. And we're gonna get back. So, these are all the box contents. And now, let's go on to the main attraction here. Starting up on the front. I've got... Um, this is plastic. This is a plastic flash hider, but it can be removed. This is all plastic, except from... This outer bullet is metal, I think. The iron sight in the front is plastic. Got a sling mount over here, which 
which is metal, plastic handguard. Man, this is really dense plastic though. And we've got this thing that I don't know what it is, this silver line over here, but anyway. And then we've got full plastic lower and upper receiver. We've got a fully adjustable plastic iron sight. This piece over here is metal. And you can expose the hopper by sliding back, as you can see. Let me. There is a rotary side hop up, I think. And this thing is metal as well. And we've got the plastic buttstock, which has one, I think it has six positions. This is the furthest it can go. Let me get in the picture right here. Let me now lift any box. Let's get the magazine in here and see. Whole picture. All right, here we are. Oh, I forgot to mention mag release. This side it's plastic as well. Now get, let's get to this side. There's a warning thing that it's useless because no one ever reads that. Fire selector has a nice click. And I think that's pretty much on the wrap up of what is offered inside the box. So now I'm gonna show you how to add the battery in the gun. So you go to the back here and there are two little things over here which you push in and there we go. And the whole thing should come off but there we go. So here you have your small Tamiya connector. Can you just pull it out here? Yeah, there we go. Let me get the battery in. So you put uh, the one side in this place right here and the other one over here. And now we're just gonna press the buttstock in again. All right, anyway. Oh. Now it's on safe. Semi-auto. Let me remove the magazine. And fire this. I hope this has a battery inside it. And it's fire. Okay. It hasn't got... Anyway, it's not charged. I'm gonna charge it.
magazine.